your own childhood. I'd read something in which you said that some of the kids you grew up with um, were in prison today or mm -hmm. were dead today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why not you? I was just very, very lucky. And I had more to lose at home than I did in the street. I had more at stake at home. You mean your mother? My you mother. didn't have to worry about being killed in the street. Your mother would my mother would. Right? My mother, I thought her, her purpose in life was to just embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> She'd come get me on the street at any time in front of anybody. I was in a, in a, in a, a uh, basketball, playing basketball in the playground. And everybody knew that, you know, I had to be home a little earlier and that my mother was always on my case. And so she came to get me and they were like, yo, D, your mom is here, man, you know. So I was like, oh, boy. So she's sitting here in the driver's seat. I'm here. All the kids are over there on the other side of the fence watching. And I'm just playing it as if nothing's going on. I mean, she's screaming at me, going crazy. And so I turned to the kids and just looked like, like, you know, mom. And as I was turning around, a hand was coming. And I just remember going down under the dashboard. <laughs> just had my head down. I said, Ma, just drive, please. Just, just, just take me yeah, Because I knew if I stood up and looked back out, everybody was probably on the ground, you know, crying and laughing. But, uh, and, and uh, you know, I don't want to say who's laughing now, but I know that she never gave up on me. Never gave up on me. And she had a lot of reason to. You know, I got kicked out of college, too. She did the same thing. What did you do when they kicked you out? Just, just not, no focus. But, I mean, how did you get back in again? I took a semester off and uh, started reading acting books. That's when I got into acting. Most people don't, don't know that your first, I guess that was the first play that came to people's notice, was right. Malcolm X. Right. It wasn't called Malcolm X. It was so. called When the Chickens Came Home to Roost. Yeah, a Malcolm X line. Right, yeah. right. And I, I remember flipping through the script and saying, okay, yeah, Malcolm's in there a lot. That could be a good part. I mean, that was... No idea who he was, really. Just there was a good, really. meaty part. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I found out, though. In doing the play? In doing the play, yeah. Did it change you then? Well, yes, immediately. And I think that... And again, I have to quote Malcolm X. You know, if you've been taught your entire life that you haven't done anything... That's what I've been taught in public schools. I wasn't taught anything about anybody African. So basically, I was taught I didn't do anything. Fact of the matter is, there's a heck of a lot of things we've done. That's one of the lessons I learned from Glory. It was never taught to me that 180,000 black men and women fought in the Civil War. How can that not be taught in public schools my whole lifetime? So what you try to do, it starts with self-esteem, thinking good of yourself. Right. But while we are talking about this business of self-esteem, then I get back to you. And that is, do you therefore, as one of the handful of really very successful African-American actors, feel that you must be a role model, must take particular kind of roles, uh, that you're not free just to, I don't know, you know, do yeah, your song? It, it, yeah, there's a pressure there. It's interesting, you know. But, you know, when you pray for rain, you got to deal with the mud too, right? If you want to see a young Nelson Mandela clip, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe. I'll see you there.